What is philosophy? Webster's Dictionary defines a philosopher as a person who seeks wisdom or enlightenment, a scholar, a thinker. While History of the World Part 1 defines a philosopher as a bullshit artist. Both are true, but in the same way, both are wrong. Philosophy is simply the study of problems, whether they be domestic, political, of mind, of language, or any other form. One thing is necessary for philosophy to be a philosophy. It must be believed and morally valued. The word philosophy comes from the Greek word, which literally means love of wisdom. Philosophy is different from other ways of addressing problems by being critical with a generally systematic approach and its reliance on rational argument. Epistemology, logic, metaphysics, ethics, and aesthetics are the mainly used forms of philosophy in the 21st century. One of the main values of philosophy is the study of principles, which expands on its realism to the world and enforces ethics throughout. Philosophy also enforces perspectives in comparison to opinions. Moral values also supply a key part in philosophy. Several societies base whole communities on a philosophy alone. Now back to our host, Stephen. guest, Andrew Toriello, to see his ethical opinions. Hi, Andrew. Hello. Do you believe in free rights and fair trials? <laughs> um, yes, I do believe in a free rights and fair trial. Why? Because I feel that all people should be represented equally, because they're all people, so we're basically all equal, so it would make sense to have equal trials and elections, etc., etc., do you believe we have earned the right to vote for our own Um, yeah, I don't really see why not. I mean, we haven't really done anything, like, ridiculous. Although, I mean, there is, like, the Electoral College and all this complicated stuff. But, um, I think we pretty much earned it. Um, do you trust in the government to lead us towards unity? Do I think that the government will lead us towards unity? Yeah. Yeah? Um... Well, I, um, I don't know about that, because the government is divided between the Democrats and the Republicans, which is basically dividing the entire country. There's this one guy's like, oh, I'm a Democrat, and the other guy's like, oh, I'm a Republican, and they're all gonna, like, they're gonna go at each other at some point, I think. So there's no unity, then. Jeez, just, just say yes or no. Come on. Do you think that with wealth, you can attain a higher rate of life? With wealth, could I attain a higher rate of life? You mean, like, would my life be better? Yeah. I think, I think it could, but, I mean, there's different things that money can't buy. Money can't buy you girlfriends, and it can't buy you love Actually, they can, and happiness so. and all that good stuff. Like the girl said, can't buy me love. Can't you can be poor and you can be happy. Love. I've seen it before. Ooh, can't buy me love. Can't buy me love. <laughs> Um, do you think we work as a people? Do we work as a people? Yep. Like together? Yep. Um, I think so. I, I mean, I guess so. I mean, people pretty much seemingly work together pretty okay. Yeah. I mean, there are some exceptions. But for the most part, people seem to be getting along uh, pretty fine and basically uh, working to make this country better. Do you think that people are truly independent? No, definitely not. Well, independent, yes. I mean, independent, we're, we've been independent from Britain for over 200 years, so technically, yes. Free, definitely not. Mm -hmm. If we were truly, truly free, like really free, to do seriously whatever we want, I assure you that nothing would get done. And also, all the criminals would just say, hey, free rights, I can shoot this guy, and this hooker and all of this <laughs> and snort this stuff and um, all of this stuff so I mean we're not truly free also kids can't get married yet and some yes, states still have it on their books that black and white can't married. get married Woo! together okay. so not quite we're getting there though I had, we're having some sort of okay. some world countries like Libya etc et come on um 
do you find that we're truly safe in the country as it is today? What? Do you think that we're safe in our country? That we're safe in our country? Yep. Um, yeah, it seems pretty safe. It depends on where you are. If you're in, like, um, like, New York, I mean, you're pretty safe in New York. Yeah. But, I mean, if you go to Detroit, I mean, you're not really going to be very safe there. Is it because there's only there, there's certain spots that are safe and certain spots that aren't safe. But as a whole, we're no real third world country. We're going pretty well. I mean, we're pretty safe. We're safer, we're safer than, like, Egypt or Libya, places that have serious, like, war issues and terrorists and all this horrible stuff. Do you find value in confidentiality? Um, what do you mean by confidentiality? Sorry. To keep things confidential. Like private. Confidential? Yep. Like privacy. Do you, do you value privacy, basically? What? Sorry. Do you value privacy? I do very much so value privacy. Privacy is an important thing. I mean, you, I mean, if you're like a celebrity, you're getting watched all the time. It makes you go kind of crazy. <clears throat> Charlie Sheen. <clears throat> but, um, I mean, you'll like turn to drugs and do all sorts of crazy stuff. So I think that um, privacy is really important. Um, do you value responsibility? What? Do you value responsibility? <laughs> Unlike us. <laughs> yeah, I value responsibility. I mean, the more responsible a person is, I think that he will get more things done, basically. Which is good. That's all you need to do, get things done. Okay. Thank you. Um, do you think firearms should legally be allowed to be hidden in New York State? Hidden in New York Do I think that what should be legally allowed in New York State? Sorry, speak up. Firearms. Firearms. Not really. I mean, unless you live in certain areas like upstate on like hunting ranges or something. But definitely not in New York City because there's no real reason to have a firearm in New York City unless you, with, with an exception, with the exception of a police officer who uses it very scarcely. I mean, as I run the subway, they're attacking you and they're, they're really, they're really going at you and you need to really like kind of kill them. I mean, there's no other reason for a firearm. I think police men and policemen only should be at supply with a firearm in New York City. Upstate is a different story. You can have firearms upstate if you're doing a prompting, but if you're going to kill people, there should definitely be a background check or something. <laughs> Can't buy me love!